Welcome everyone, Farmer Cup here. This is going to be the mod review for June 2nd of 2021. If this is what you're looking for, please stay tuned. Alright folks, welcome to the mod review for June 2nd of 2021. As always, if you're looking for a specific mod down below in the YouTube slider bar, you should be able to skip ahead to whatever you're looking for. Also, I apologize for any background humming as my air conditioning unit is trying to keep my office below 80 degrees. So, uh, um, anyhow, let's go ahead and jump into the updates for today. So we had updates to the Ural 5557 Farmer. We also had an update to the Polish Vehicles and Equipments Pack, uh, update to the new currencies, and then continuing, oh, sorry, I didn't set any of the people that made those. Uh, the Ural's by Axery, um, the Polish Vehicle set is by Rolnik410, uh, Farmer Alice Karis, and the new currencies by Rockstar. Sorry, I normally read those. Um, next up, we have updates to RDC uh, FS19 by Alberto. Um, that one has so many updates, so many things changed on it that I could not fit it on the screen. We also have an update to the Mand TGS18 series by Agri Solutions and Virtual Farmer. Um, maybe Virtual Farm, make Virtual F, Virtual F, something. Uh, we also have an update to the Animal Trailer by Adub Modding uh, Nixter 4S. Um, and then continuing from there, our first new mod today is the uh, Vehicle Camera Zoom. This is by uh, LSMT 19 Blue Dragon 83, 13 kilobytes to download. This is for PC and Mac players only. Um, this will, this is Vehicle Camera Auto Zoom is a modification which ensures the outside camera zooming away from the vehicle at the first entry. So basically when you hop in a vehicle, um, when you first get on, um, it'll zoom you out right away so you don't have to do it every time you hop in like i do so anyhow pretty nifty i thought that was cool i didn't install it on here so we're not going to necessarily show it off but um, i usually don't do that with script mods so um yeah i just wanted to talk about it a little bit before we jump into the rest of the new mods let's go ahead and get into those all right next we have the lizard 1120 series this is by zt modding senior vertex and the auto modding 27.05 megabytes to download this is for all platforms this is going to run you oh boy 32 slots on console, 32 slots. There we go. Let's go into the store here. This will be found under medium tractors at the very end. $65,000 starting price, 280 horsepower, 840 liters of fuel, runs at 28 miles per hour. We go into here, we can adjust the main color to any of those various shades of green on there. Under trailer board, we have the this one. Then we have this one, this one, this one, and back to this one. Oh no, those are used. Ooh, those are cool. I didn't notice the used ones when I was looking earlier niftiness and i believe that's yep that's back to standard okay now if we go to midas just those two options nope we got more than that try to scroll through several yeah there's a few options on there michelin is it just michelin and midas nope we got lizard was the first one we we're looking at michelin a few tire options once again uh, the Nokians look really strange. Ooh, dual Nokians? I don't know if I've ever seen that. Or the Nokians, depending on how you pronounce it. Ooh. Ooh, I like those. <laughs> Sorry. Um, lizards. Ooh, look at those. <laughs> you can customize this thing. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't notice all these. Normally these are on, I don't know. I'm. Yeah, I just didn't notice all those. Oh, that's great. There's a lot of options on there. They're back to trailer board because that's where we started. Lights, so you have standard LED bar. Whoops, LED bar goes up there. So you see LED bar, cab lights, um, LED cab lights, LED headlights, LED headlights kit, um, light bar and headlights, and then back to nothing. Antenna, uh, antenna only, or you can have antenna PX. Uh, going down here, attacher standard. We can have three point, so standard, three point, back to standard. Monitor and Starfire, Green Star, three monitors, a few different options for that on there. Uh, engine setup, 1124 is 230 horsepower, 1128 is 280, then 320, and then 360, and then back down to 230. Interior, extinguisher, tools, extinguisher, and tools. So I have, I think I did both of mine. Just so we can take a look at it. Sounds great. A little slow to the stop, and now, it did say 28 miles an hour, but I'm only going at 23 is my max down there in the bottom. Horn. That's a good horn for this. Lights. One, two, three, off. How do we get the LED headlight to come on? Oh, is it on? It is on, it just looks very dull. 
One, two, three, two, three. Turn signals, left, nothing? Oh, on the back there is, but nothing on the front. No front turn signals, okay. Um, open up the help menu. Up and down extends the hitch out, that's kind of cool. Right, left and right opens the door. Right mouse button there, so both hitch, right door there, so that's pretty cool. Uh, if we jump in the cab, I feel like I'm really close to that wheel when I'm in the cab here. Giants FM. There's the tools and the fire extinguisher there. Yeah, pretty nifty. Cool little tractor there, I like that. There you go, that is the 1120 series. Next up we have the CBT1105, or if you're on console, I believe it's under Lizard. This is by Conta Amigo Modding, 8.32 megabytes to download for all platforms. This says 12 slots if you were on console. Found in the store under small tractors at the very end. 22,370 to buy, 105 horsepower starting out, 115 liters of fuel, runs at 17 miles per hour. We go in here, Lizard, Michelin, we have wheel one, two, and three. So one, two, three, and then back to Lizard. So only a couple tire options on there, especially compared to the last guy we had. Uh, design, we have standard, we have sticker Brazil, or standard. So sticker Brazil, you can see adds sticker right in there is the only one I've noticed. But uh, 1105 engine setup is the 105 horsepower, then the 1105 turbo is 130, then back to uh, 105. So only a few customizations on there. Sounds great, in it. Open up help menu. I don't see anything up there we need to address. Lights, one, two, off. One, two, off. I don't think there's gonna be any turn signals on this. Nope, no turn signals. Beacons, horn. Driving, it sounds good. This thing does have a little bit of a trouble stopping though, so just be aware of that. Going to the cab. We're sitting behind the seat, apparently. <laughs> it's interesting how that wheel's kind of off to the side like that. I'm assuming that's probably how the, this tractor is in the real world, but that's kind of interesting. It's kind of cool. But there you go. That is, so oh, we're the hell a little bit there. That is everything I have for you with the CB. T or Lizard 1105. Next up, we have the Def IBC tank. This is by Days. 0.57 megabytes to download for PC and Mac players. Found in the store under pallets. Very end. Def IBC tank, 2500 to buy, holds 2000 liters of Def fluid. And there you go. That's about everything for you. Um, just something to note that we had a new Def tank available for you. So there you have it. Next up, we have the S014. This is by LeastEU, 7.14 megabytes to download. This is for all platforms. And if you're on console, this is gonna run you 10 slots. It's found in the store under trailers or tools, not trailers, geez Louise. Uh, man, where are we at here? Cedars, there we go, under Cedars, down at the very end. The S014, $800 or 800 pounds to buy, whatever your unit you're using. Uh, 10 horsepower required, 100 liters of seeds, It'll run at seven miles an hour, and it will plant all your basic crop types. And here, we can do yes or no, so yes or no on the symbols there. Main color, you can adjust anything on there. Rim color, you can adjust anything on there. And design color, anything on there. So there you go, you can adjust those. There's your symbols as well, all that stuff can be taken off if you don't want it on there. Hop in here, open up the help menu. V to lower it down. I don't even think you have to turn it on. Nope, it's planted, there you go. And to open the cover. Close it back down. V to lift it back up. And there you go. And you can hire a worker to use it if you'd like to. So there you go. That is the S014. All right, next up we have the FACA Roller 3 in 6 meters. This is by Krillo Modding 88. 4.01 megabytes to download for all platforms. Um, if you are on console, well, let's take a look at these in the store first. They're found under disc arrows. There's a three meter and a six meter. The three meter is one slot and the six meter is two slots. So we did get kind of a three meter cultivator. It's very close. It's in the same category. So of course that's the one I have out because that's the more entertaining one. Uh, three meters, uh, 10 miles an hour. This one is six meters and 10 miles an hour. If we go into here, no customization. If we go into here, no customization. You, you get these are designed to go on the front. If we open up the menu there, V to lower it down. And essentially it will do what it's supposed to do. It is supposed to cultivate. So there you have that. That is the FACA four or the FACA roller three and six meters.
Next up, we have the Strong 45000. This is by Hemerson Dentino. This is 9.01 megabytes to download, and this is for all platforms. This is going to run you 15 slots on console. This is found in the store under trailers. Down towards the very end right here, the Strong 45000. 39,500 to buy will hold any of these bulk items in 45,000 liter capacity. It does say 210 horsepower required. Uh, inside, we don't have any customization past the color, so we can adjust the color and the rim color as we would like to on there. Other than that, you get what you get. Hop into here, we can go ahead and fill this up with uh, anything we'd like to. Big food, sure, whatever, doesn't matter. Left control I to unload. And there you go, it unloads right back there. I don't see anything else on there. Needs to be shown off, but yeah. So not a bad little trailer. Lights on it look good. But there you go, that is the strong 45,000 liter. Next up, we have the uh, Kano EDK C60 by Red Cat 3D, 8.7 megabytes to download for PC and Mac players only. This does say it is license plate script ready, so if you have that mod installed, it will run with that. If we go into trailers in here in the store, we'll find it right here in EDK C60, um, 44,000, or 4,400, not 44,000, 4,400 liters it will hold of all these various crop types. If you go in here, we can adjust the rim color to anything on that. Main color, anything on here. And then the design color, anything on there. Down here, capacity 4400, or we can do a bale loading wagon, or capacity 4400. BKT for the wheel brand. Trailer board, we have standard and wides. Virtus Stein, we have standard, wides. Um, and then back to BKT stickers, we have black, white, or none. So you can change those on the sides there. Uh, other than that, that is all your customization options. Open that up. Tip side back, left, and right. So if I put a little bit of stuff in here. I'll tip out that side there. And let's go tip side back. Let's take a look at that. There you go. So that is the Conal EDK C60. All right, next up I have the MRF three point logging blade. This is by MR Forsten Technik. 2.73 megabytes to download this for all platforms. This is gonna run you four slots on console found in the store under forestry equipment down at the very end the three point logging blade 1200 to buy 1.7 meters wide we go in here we can adjust the colors to just about anything let me look at this list of colors here design color we can do blue metal or however we want to do it but yeah so those are expensive to adjust the colors you see that 25 it was 2500 bucks per to adjust so adds an extra five grand if you adjust both the colors now it is designed to sit on like the front of a forwarder potentially but it will also work with like silage and stuff um, on three point links. It's I, ideally it would sit like on the front of like one of these guys or something like that, some forestry equipment. But um, anyhow, it does sit on the front, but I don't have super strength on, do I? Don't believe I do. Nope, I don't. Can I lift that? I'm just curious, guys. Yeah, so I guess you can lift it on your own if you want to, but there you go. That is the forestry blade. All right, next up, we have the weight and protection. This is by Adams Kong. This is 1.66 megabytes to download for all platforms. This is gonna run you two slots each on console. These are found in the store under weights down at the very end. So there's two options, one with a weight and then one just with the protection on it. So they're both two slots. 1750 for this guy, a thousand for this one. This one, if we go in here, we can adjust the design and the main color to whatever we'd like. But I think that's a really cool design. Have that kind of, there's like an extra, just something new, something different on there. And this one you can obviously adjust that so there you go a couple different adjustments on there but otherwise it's just a weight so there you have it that is the weight and protection all right next up we have the post german pig site this is by leo leo 13.7 megabytes to download for all platforms uh, and this is going to run you 20 slots on console this is found in the store under placeables under animal pens at the very end the post german pig sty 50 000 to buy 20 dollars a day maintenance and it will hold all of these various crop types down here because it's a pig food or pig pen and it'll hold 10 pigs there you go go up to here it is manure system ready and seasons ready so as you can see here manure system obviously that doesn't apply to console players but seasons ready would apply that door is opening up for us please where we put the pigs in yep good detail on it pretty cool looking inside light switch turn that on so we can see what's going on a little bit better but there you go open the back door up head out here but yeah, not bad. Really good detail on it. I think it's a really cool little structure. So there you go. That is the post-German pigsty.
Next up, we have the Agrimark American Style Garage Shed with Workshop. This is by ARX Modding, 8.09 megabytes to download for all platforms. This is gonna run you 19 slots if you're on console. This is found in the store under sheds. Right here, Garage with Workshop, 25,000 to buy, $25 a day maintenance. We go in here, we do have a workshop trigger in here. So we can come in here and do that. And let's see, is there any? Aha, activate vehicle lifter. So we do have this, which is pretty nifty, I like that. Lower that back down. Storage space and the rest of it. Well, these are drive through too, I like that. Very nifty. Very well designed building, quite honestly. I like how it's kind of, kind of old faded, looks cool. Yeah, good looking little building, especially at the workshop up front. So yeah, I really like that. That is very cool. So there you go. That is the Agrimark American Style Garage Shed with Workshop. Next up in our final mod for the day is the old building. This is Seasons Ready, Agar Design Modding. Uh, as who designed this is 6.93 megabytes to download. This is for all platforms found in the store under sheds. Yeah, at the very end, $4,750 a day maintenance, or no, to buy $5 a day maintenance. There we go. That'd be quite the maintenance on this building. And I would say that they need to do better if that's how much we're paying a day for maintenance. But um, yeah, otherwise looks good. Really nice detail on this, honestly. And that does look like some rusted sheet metal in there, just the way it would rust. So I really like that. A lot of detail on that. That's fantastic. Definitely see myself using this as well. So that is pretty cool. But anyhow, that's the end of the mod review for today, folks. If you guys enjoyed, drop a like down below. If you haven't already, hit the subscribe button up on the screen to join the Farmer Cop channel and turn on your notification bell so you don't miss any future videos I may post. This has been Farmer Cop. Thank you guys for coming and watching.